Hello everybody and welcome back to the train room. Today I'm excited and I'm going to show you how to wire a double pole double throw switch for your model train layout. Basically I have one right here and you can find this in almost any electronic store or online. They're pretty much readily available and they work great. I have them mounted on my control panel and they power accessories, lights, sidings, or whisker tracks around my turntable. And they just work great. And what they're good for is providing power to separate tracks or accessories on an as needed basis or when you don't need power all the time, just some of the time. So if you're going to power a siding, you could flip the switch, power that siding, bring the train out, and then turn that power off because the train is no longer on that siding and you no longer want to provide power to it. And then when the train returns, you simply flip the switch, provide power to your siding or to your accessory, and you can turn it back off again after the train comes in or whatever it is that you're powering. So they just work great. That's it right here. On the back, you'll see six terminals. And I'm going to show you today how to wire these terminals, and it's pretty basic and simple. Okay, guys, here's the back of your switch. Here are the six terminals that I showed you before that are on the back. Your power coming in from the transformer goes to the center posts. It doesn't matter which side, this side or that side. So you can have, for example, your common coming to this side and your hot coming here, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. But let's just say that this is your common, and that this is your hot. When you want to provide power now to an accessory, or to a siding, or to a certain whisker track, or a separate set of, or a separate track, you use the top terminal or the bottom terminal. Again, it doesn't matter, top or bottom, but what matters is that you stay on the same side. So the common now would come back in on this side, and then your hot would come here. So this pair of wires, the common and the hot, which is for the center rail, will power a siding or a track. So your wires coming in from the transformer come to the center posts. Your wires going out to a siding or to a track or to an accessory, you can either use the top set or the bottom set. But if you're using the top set, hot stays on this side, common stays on that side, going out to your accessory. And if you're going to accessory a second accessory or a second track or siding, again, common would be here. And your hot would be here. So all three instances, your power coming in is in the center, your power going out to accessories, the hot wire is all on the same side and the common is on the other side. It doesn't matter which side. You could have the common on this side and the hot on the other side. What matters is that they're all in line. That's what matters. So now you can pro provide power. You have power coming in. Let's say siding number one would be coming out of the top set and siding number two would be coming out of the bottom set. And that's it. It's very simple. And now you, could, uh, now you know how to wire a double pole, double throw switch for your model train layout. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching today. I hope this provided some clarity on how to wire your switches. Again, they work great. I have them on my control panel and on my layout, providing various power to various things. Again, only at certain time, times or as needed basis. Well, thank you again for watching, everybody. Bye for now.